Chemistry is the third studio album by British-Irish girl group Girls Aloud. It was released in the United Kingdom on 5 December 2005 by Polydor Records. After the success of What Will the Neighbours Say, the album was again entirely produced by Brian Higgins and his production team Xenomania. Chemistry is a loose concept album which details celebrity lifestyle and what it's like to be a 20 something girl in London. A number of the songs avert the verse chorus form typical of pop music. Chemistry was universally acclaimed by a number of contemporary music critics upon its release. Despite a relatively low chart position, peaking at 11, the lowest charting release by the group, the album yielded four top ten singles and was certified platinum in the United Kingdom and Ireland, selling over 390,000 copies. The album was followed by the Chemistry Tour, which had girls allowed performing in arenas for the first time. Topic: Conception. After the success of What Will the Neighbors Say, which was solely produced by Brian Higgins and Xenomania, the production team was asked to create Girls Aloud's third studio album. Chemistry was entirely produced and written by Xenomania, apart from a cover of DC Lee's "See the Day." The album was recorded in 2005, following the What Will the Neighbors Say? live tour. Parts of the process were shown in the Fly on the Wall documentary Girls Aloud, Home Truths. Music <laughs> 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 Topic style and lyrics Chemistry explores a more innovative approach to pop music, straying from the typical verse-chorus form present in most songs. Alexis Petridis of The Guardian wrote that Chemistry is a record that dispenses with the tiresome business of verses and instead opts for songs apparently constructed by stitching eight different choruses together. BBC Music exclaimed that Girls Aloud have resuscitated its corpse by wedding chart friendly melodies to experimental avant garde sounds. The album takes influences from a wide variety of sources, including everything from French chanson to piano-pounding blues to the clipped R&B of the small faces. Rapping in the same vein as artists like Betty Boo and Nena Cherry is prominent. Guitars are present for most of the album. Yahoo Music says there's nary a formula in sight. There are as many sudden tonal and tempo switches as the tricksiest Chicago art rock band. And all but one song here gives guitars a starring role. The songs are noticeably less rooted in electronic music, although Swinging London Town is a dark, squiggly synth pop epic and Its Magic is composed of Little Royksop-like keyboard riffs. The album was described as a concept album which relates to the girls and what it's like to be a 20-something girl in London. The Guardian said that the album's lyrics sound like Blur's Parklife rewritten by the editorial staff of Heat magazine and holds a distinctly ambiguous mirror up to Naughty's celebrity. Girls Aloud came under fire for the album's allegedly dirty lyrics. I'm surprised that some of our lyrics have caused a stir. We're just having a laugh, and a lot of the songs are very tongue-in-cheek, commented Kimberly Walsh on the matter. Sarah Harding said that songs like Racy Lacy, which lampoons promiscuous females, are observational rather than autobiographical, models was also criticized for its use of the word shit, while Swinging London Town allegedly toys with the girl's reputation for partying a little too heartily. Watch Me Go, co written by former SYNC member J.C. Chasers, also delves into the topic of bondage, its magic is the only song on which Girls Aloud receive a writing credit. 
Topic songs The album opens with intro, a 42-second introduction, the end of intro segues into the first full track on the album, Models. The song deals with men who try to assert their masculinity by sleeping with cover girls, but contains a council estate girls made good subtext. It received comparisons to Duran Duran's Girls on Film, which Girls Aloud once covered, and Madonna's Material Girl. Biology is particularly notable for being the most faithful to this album's spirit of innovation, blending the kind of saucy cabaret you'd expect to find in a gin-soaked saloon bar with a glorious chorus of fizzing, gliding synths and deceptively breakneck beats. Wild Horses, track 4 on the album, features a mock choir girl intro segueing into a breezy acoustic rocker, like a harder Saint Etienne. It was also described as a futuristic country and western club banger. The song is followed by See the Day, a cover of the 1985 DC Lee single which has been given a glossy 21st century refurb. The version, described as the obligatory Christmas ballad, was largely slated for its lack of creativity and similarities to their 2004 cover of The Pretenders' I'll Stand By You although some critics preferred it, Watch Me Go was described as deliciously slutty and includes rapping similar to Betty Boo and Nena Cherry. The song's outro was compared to the Black Eyed Peas' My Humps. It was described by The Observer as 80s Boney M. Funk Pop Waiting was described as a highlight by The Sunday Times. Whole Lotta History was called a lush ballad, and it received comparisons to the Spice Girls ballads. Whole Lotta History has also received comparisons to All Saints Never Ever. Long Hot Summer was called effervescent but relatively unexciting, as well as a well-produced, upbeat pop tune, with a great hook in the chorus by the Sentinel. The song, like Watch Me Go, also includes Betty Boo-esque rapping, Swinging London Town received critical praise. It was called a dark, squiggly synth pop epic a la pet shop boys on the diverse characters, from wannabes to trustafarians, found in the nation's capital, and that there hasn't been a song since the pet shop boys West End girls that captures the ugly charms of London on a Friday night, but swinging London town comes close. It was further described as a collision of warp speed funk guitar riffs and distorted Giorgio Moroder style techno disco that unexpectedly drops into wafting movie soundtrack ambience. It's magic, a Nicola Roberts solo which was called, The Album's Hidden Highlight, was labeled, Weighty, Sultry Electro Pop. Layered with beautifully enticing synth melodies. No Regrets, sung solely by Nadine Coyle, is an electro bossa nova ballad. The album's closer, Racy Lacy, is a portrait song of a young lady in the style of Prince's Darling Nikki, or Blur's Tracy Jacks. The Guardian called it a kind of nuclear-powered Euro novelty record. Release Chemistry was released in Ireland on 2 December 2005 and in the United Kingdom on the following Monday. In addition to the standard edition of the album, a limited edition with a bonus disc was also released. The bonus disc contains Christmas music, including covers and original songs produced by Xenomania under the moniker Festive Gifts. The songwriters also took on Christmas-related pseudonyms. 
In Australia and New Zealand, the album was released on the 20th of February 2006. However, it failed to generate much interest. Additionally, Chemistry and other Girls Aloud releases appeared on the US iTunes Store on the 26th of June 2007. Topic: <laughs> Singles. The album's first single was, ''Long Hot Summer'', released in August 2005 as a ''Buzz'' track to regenerate interest in the girls. The song was earmarked for release on the soundtrack of the 2005 film Herbie, Fully Loaded. The plans fell through, but the music video had taken inspiration from the movie's car theme and Girls Aloud portrayed mechanics. The song was not well received by critics, and it became their first single to miss the top five. The follow-up, Biology, was critically acclaimed and saw Girls Aloud return to the top five. Peter Cashmore, writing for The Guardian, described Biology, as the best pop single of the last decade. In September 2006, the single followed in the footsteps of No Good Advice and Wake Me Up to become the winner of the Pop Justice £20 Music Prize. Just four weeks after the release of Biology, Girls Aloud released a cover of DC Lee's See the Day in the race for Christmas number no. 1. It became their lowest charting single at the time. The song won the Heart Award at the O2 Silver Clef Lunch, an annual awards honoring songwriting and performance in aid of Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy. The final single was Whole Lotta History which became their 12th consecutive single to chart within the top 10. The video, filmed in Paris, France, was their first to be set on location and outside of the United Kingdom. In Australia, Biology was released as the first single in early 2006 peaking within the top 30. However second single, The Show, Flopped peaking within the top 75 resulting in the third intended single, I'll Stand By You to be cancelled despite promotion earlier that year with single, Biology. Reception Critical response Chemistry was largely praised by contemporary music critics upon its release. Talia Cranes of BBC Music decided that the album was quirky, modern and dripping with attitude and holds no disappointments. Virgin Media gave the album 5 stars, saying it was bursting with invention, quirky lyrics, tongue-in-cheek sauciness and appeals to grown-up pop fans and music critics as well as to the teeny boppers. Yahoo Music concurred by declaring that chemistry was as devilish and quirky and downright uplifting as anything else released by anyone this year. The Guardian was extremely positive in its review, saying it spends 45 minutes doing the last thing you expect it to. The New York Times referred to the album as endlessly entertaining. In comparison to Girls Aloud's previous albums, Entertainment.ie referred to Chemistry as their best offering yet. Overflowing with pop hooks, sassy production and choruses just waiting to take up permanent residence in your head." The Daily Telegraph said that Girls Aloud have, "...simply got much, much better 
albums will have to get better in order to survive. It's happened here. Judging by chemistry, Girls Aloud's songwriters are now working as hard as the band are. Musicove said it achieves the almost impossible in bettering its predecessor. Dom Passantino of Stylus Magazine said he did prefer What Will the Neighbors Say, but gave Chemistry an A. The Sunday Times, on the other hand, only gave Chemistry two and a half stars out of five. All Music stated that Girls Aloud's fans were outgrowing them and the cracks were beginning to show. Chemistry appeared at number 13 on Stylus Magazine's Top 50 Albums of 2005 and number 35 on Observer Music Monthly's Top 100 Albums of 2005 list. In 2008, Slant Magazine said that, "...chemistry is probably still their crowning glory." In 2009, the album was included in MSN Music's 20 Best Albums of the Decade. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chart Performance. Chemistry became Girls Aloud's first album to miss the top 10 when it debuted at number 11 on the UK Albums Chart, selling 81,962 units. Despite peaking at a low position, the first week sales outsold the band's debut studio album, Sound of the Underground, which debuted at number 2 with 37,077 units sold. The album dropped out of the top 75 after just seven weeks, but spent three more weeks in the chart after the release of Whole Lotta History. Chemistry sold enough to be certified platinum. Chemistry debuted at number 34 on the Irish Albums chart, and peaked at number 31 four weeks later. However, the album was certified platinum in Ireland. Topic. Track listing All tracks were produced by Xenomania. Credits adapted from the liner notes of Chemistry. Covers, samples and other appearances. Biology. Samples the main riff from the animals. Club A Go Go. See the Day. Was originally performed by DC Lee. It's Magic", is sung entirely by Nicola Roberts and appears as a B-side to See the Day. No Regrets", is sung entirely by Nadine Coyle. Charts <laughs> 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 Certifications Topic Release History Topic Other Notes Singapore a track recorded during the album sessions that was not picked for the final album was later released on The Sound of Girls Aloud, the Greatest Hits Compilation Limited Edition bonus disc. On My Way to Satisfaction. A track recorded during the album sessions that was not picked for the final album was later released on the St. Trinian soundtrack. Footage of Sarah recording the track was shown on Girls Aloud, Home Truths. The song is registered on ASCAP under the name, Red Roar. Black Jacks, a track that was eventually released on Girls Aloud's fourth album, Tangled Up, was originally recorded during the sessions of Chemistry. Models theme from Off the Record is a remix shorted version for Girls Aloud's television series titled, Off the Record, 
and appears on the second disc of Something Kinda Ooh. A music video for Models was produced for use in their 2013 10, The Hits Tour and pays a homage to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, with the girls backstage wearing the trademark pink dressing gowns. <laughs>